Welcome back to the channel, it's Andy and today on the Tottenham Hotspur save on the FM23 beta uh, we're going to have a look at the Champions League stuff for the first time FM23 has the licenses to the UEFA competitions so we're going to do our Champions League group stage draw next episode we'll be back focusing on the Premier League and what happens sort of off camera but today we're just going to go through this group stage draw and have a look at the new UEFA licensing. The music, I think, is also in the game. I'm not sure if it'll actually stay in the video, though, because it'll probably still get content, content ID'd. But I want to check this out as it's new to the game. I want to see how it looks. So uh, Spurs are seeded second for the draw. Let's jump into it and let's see what we've got. So you can hear, hopefully, the, uh, the Champions League music, uh, whether it stays in or not. I don't know, but um, we'll see. So... We have our draw, we have some reactions from uh, social media here. The social feed's always been something that's kind of been pretty irrelevant on Football Manager. So let's go into the draw then. Uh, and we can see the top eight sides there in the first part. You've got all the champions from all over Europe. Bayern, Man City, uh, Real Madrid, PSG. You've got the Europa League winners there as well. Eintracht, Frankfurt. So we're going to advance and we're going to see what happens here. So Ajax are the first team out. Now it says start draw. Uh, that's going down very, very slowly. So I don't think this would be the best thing to use. It goes sort of extremely slowly. Because like, that hasn't even drawn a side. That's just gone straight to Group B. So I think it's best to just advance through the teams and see who comes out when. So Ajax go into Group A. Porter go into Group B. There's also an overview here. So you can see the groups as they go into progress. And then the social feed. You've got the reactions, which don't really mean much, do they? So let's just stick on the overview uh, I mean, it looks pretty official. It looks very UEFA, which I like. Um, you've got the music. So, you know, they've definitely made an effort and it looks a lot better than it used to. Um, I can see they've made a lot of effort with it. It's like the deadline day stuff from last year. I think they've done a bit better with this than they did with the deadline day stuff last year, which was just the same interface, but yellow. This really looks good. I like how this looks. Let's draw the remainder of the first pot then. And let's see who else is coming out. So you can see all the groups there. So we're in the second pot. So we are alongside, uh, can we see? We're going to pot two. Liverpool and Chelsea, also from England. We've got Barcelona, Atletico Madrid and Sevilla from Spain. You've got RB Leipzig from Germany and Juventus from Serie A in Italy. So we're going to advance through these and see who goes where. And we are the first team out of pot two to be drawn and we're in Ajax's group. My Spurs, familiar with Ajax, of course, 2019 semi-final tie. Lucas Moore again, that hatch with the Sens Spurs to the final. And they will meet in group A. So let's draw the rest of the first pot then, or the second pot rather, now that that has been confirmed. So Man City to get Barcelona, Bayern get Chelsea. There's some big ties in here. So I think we've done quite well to get Ajax. We could have got like Bayern. We could have got PSG. I mean, Ajax and no pushovers, but of course they've lost uh, Eric Ten Hag to Man United. They've lost a lot of players as well. So it uh, could be something that we can get a result in. I'm sure we can maybe get ahead of those guys. I just went back to the drawer and the, the, uh, the music started up again. So in pot three, we still have some very good sides here. We've got Dortmund from the Bundesliga. We've got Shakhtar from Ukraine. We've got Red Bull Salzburg from Austria. Inter Milan from Syria. Also, Parthenope, which is actually Napoli. Uh, they're not licensed to be in the game. So Parthenope are Napoli. And we also have Bayer Leverkusen from the Bundesliga. Sporting for Portugal. And Red Star Belgrade in pot three, interestingly. And we've been drawing against Shakhtar Donetsk, which is always a difficult side to go up against, especially with the travel into Ukraine. Um, always a difficult side, Shakhtar. So we've avoided sides there like Inter Milan, Napoli. We've avoided Leverkusen. We've avoided Borussia Dortmund. So I think we've done okay there, but Shakhtar aren't any pushovers. But I'm, I'm confident we could get ahead of one or both of Ajax and Shakhtar. I think we've got a chance to win this group. In pot four, we still have some good sides. We have Marseille from Ligue 1. We've got Copenhagen. We've got Club Bruges. We've got Celtic, Monaco, Ludogorets, Fenerbahce, and Trabzonspor. Celtic getting through the Champions League playoff to the group stages. It looks like Rangers might have missed out. So, uh, yeah, big change there. But our fourth pot team is going to be Monaco from Ligue 1. Managed by Philippe Clement. And uh, they are the uh, the fourth side in our um, in our group. Some some players here that we'll recognise. Minamino, who was brought from Liverpool, didn't quite work out for him at Liverpool. The Japanese player and Monaco, he hasn't. He's got a goal for them here in League One, 
but in real life hasn't really managed to get going there either. And some good some good players in there as well. Ben Yed is a good forward. Kevin Vollard, uh Volland, sorry, Golovin. Badishile is a good sort of young central defender. And Bolo, uh, Malang Sar. They've got a, a decent side, Monaco. So we can draw the rest of the pot four sides. Club Brewers, Travis Sport, Marseille, Ludogorets, Fenerbahce, Copenhagen and Celtic, the final team out. And there are your eight groups for the Champions League group stages. We've been drawn against Ajax, Shakhtar and Monaco. I think this is a group that we can win. Uh, but at the same time, it's a very open group. Like We need to make sure we play well. If we don't turn up against some of these sides, then there is a chance we could possibly go out. I think it's a very open group, that one. I think it's anybody's to win, but I think we will probably be favourites to, to get through, definitely. I think between us and Ajax, they would expect one of us to win it. Let's have a look at the rest of the groups then. Porto, Atletico Madrid, Inter Milan and Club Bruges make up Group B. Group C has Man City and Barcelona by Leverkusen and Trabzonspor in that one. Uh, group D with Chelsea and Bayern, who'd imagine would get through this group quite comfortably with Salzburg and Marseille, the other sides there. Liverpool drawn against the Europa League winners Eintracht Frankfurt, as well as Napoli and Ludogorets. PSG and Leipzig uh, will probably be favourites to get through Group F with Red Star Belgrade and Fenerbahce, the uh, other sides there. Real Madrid and Juventus will battle out for the top spot in Group G. Uh, Sporting probably won't be that far behind them, and Copenhagen will be the, uh, the underdogs in that group and group h looking pretty competitive actually with ac milan severe borussia dortmund and celtic an interesting um arrangement of teams there for the group stages and a draw for spurs that i think they'll be quite pleased with but they could have got maybe something a bit easier but i'm confident we can get through that monaco and Shakhtar are going to be difficult games but games which i think we can win so uh we will see how those go a little bit further down the line I'm not going to spoil what happened off camera, but next episode we will be taking on Arsenal in the North London derby. So we will have played our first Champions League game as we host Monaco. But next episode, Arsenal in the North London derby. See if we can get some bragging rights there and try and get something from the Emirates Stadium. That is going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. It's just a short one today just to show off the Champions League stuff if you haven't seen it before. If you enjoyed it, drop a like, leave comments and subscribe if you haven't or if you're new. Turn notifications on. And yes, next episode, Arsenal away in the Premier League. North London derby, either side of two Champions League games as well so it's going to be a difficult week or so with three fixtures in eight days but we will try and get through it and maybe get something in the derby but for now thank you for watching I'll see you soon goodbye